okay so you need to change the BIOS settings that I'm showing you depending on whether you are uh, booting Linux or Windows but I ended up enabling uh, secure boot even for Linux after I signed the kernel modules First we will start with creating the Windows Virtual Machine within Fedora. You need to use the partition manager in order to determine the partitions that you uh, need to include with the commands that you will use to create the virtual disk. Now I show you the command that you need to use in order to create the virtual disk. Also I pass the partitions numbers for the partitions that I want to include. And you need to add your user to the disk group so uh, VirtualBox can access the device. Or you can change the permissions. Now I will go through the settings that I use for the Windows Virtual Machine. You need to enable AFI. Make sure hard disk is on top of the list, uh, move it uh, by clicking on the arrows on the right. Read the documentation that I'm showing you if you want to assign the kernel module so you don't have to uh, disable secure boot. Now moving on to Windows, first we create the virtual disk for Fedora Linux. We use two commands, the first one uh, we use uh, in order to determine the ID of the physical drive we want to use. and the second one we use uh, in order to create the virtual disk now I show you the settings uh, of my virtual machine it's better you have the hard disk uh, on top of the list also enable EFI If you want to use the type I am using, the NVMe uh, disk type, you need to add the extension uh, pack. Download the extension pack from VirtualBox uh, website. Then you can add it by uh, using the extension pack installer.